the United States. Thank you very much. President Sarno, distinguished guests, fellow Americans. I think all of us realize that in these fast-moving times, it is highly important that our nation's capital should be attached to every single citizen in this country by the very fastest, best kind of communications. Decisions of a nation and of a government that at one time uh, could uh, tolerate three or four weeks of study now demand almost instantaneous a reaction. So it is, again, apparent that unless our citizenry can be informed of the things that happen in the world and are reflected uh, through the eyes of uh, legislative and executive leaders in such a way that they may understand exactly what these things mean, then the United States cannot react as it should. Now, uh, today, as I came through this building, which will itself make these communications better, more rapid, more comprehensive, I was completely overwhelmed by the technical complexities and problems that the broadcasting industry has been solving. I do not know whether the rest of you in this audience have been able to make that same tour. But uh, it is like nothing else so much, in my mind, as the uh, radar room in a, a big battleship or some other complex thing that really is entirely beyond my comprehension, but is still uh, capable of exciting my wonderment. So I cannot fail to uh, congratulate, to felicitate the National Broadcasting Company for this particular step in the communication, in developing the communication the industry of our uh, country. I felicitate the officials of the company, and I must say I congratulate every citizen whose um, understanding of this nation, of the world, will be made better and fuller uh, by this development. Thank you very much. Thank you all.